What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Wait a minute. They're just moving a whole ass house. What the hell? That's a whole ass house. Or a trailer. Yeah, a trailer. What the hell? I've never seen that before in my life. They have a trailer. Like the one I live in. Just a lot nastier looking. It's, it's a bit funky. But they're just moving a whole ass trailer. What? I knew you could do that, but I've never seen it done, so that's impressive. <laughs> but what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. I already kind of started what this little segment of the video is going to be, but uh, that's because I didn't really plan on filming it, and I was like, wait a minute. They might want to see this, so I went inside and grabbed the camera. But today, if y'all watched, I don't know if it was last video or like a few videos ago, if y'all watched me taking the John boat out, I went fishing, and it was the first time I used the uh, fish finder, the new graph I got. By the way, if you didn't watch that video, it was a banger. It was like one of my best like fishing videos on the channel so far. But uh, in that video, like I said, we used the fish finder for the first time, and when I said it, it up like the night before i just kind of jerry-rigged it when it came to like the whole electrical thing like i didn't use the right connectors or like i didn't splice anything together or anything like that i didn't own freaking electrical tape so <laughs> so you know i just kind of jerry-rigged it so it worked for that day and it did and it did fine but you know i wanted to do it right i was just worried one drop of water would hit it and it just fried the whole thing the entire time i was out there so as you can see I bought some electrical tape. I bought an entire log of it. I walked up to the little bin in Walmart and like they had just like single rows for like, I don't know, like 70 cents or something. And I just started grabbing handfuls and I looked over and they had a big ass log just sitting there. I was like, yeah, that's what I want. I don't use electrical tape often, but whenever I need it, it's not there. I can't find it. I don't have it anymore. So I was like, forget it. I'm just, I'm just stocking up. So I got electrical tape. I got some wire snips or like whatever the wire stripper, whatever these things are called. My dad usually just says, hand me those snips with the yellow handle. So yeah. Then I bought just an assorted thing of connectors. I only needed one size, but like to buy it separate, it was damn near twice the amount as to just get an assorted thing. So yeah, I'll just get this. I guess I'll just have some. But here is what we're working with. This is what I've already done. I've already spliced the wires and kind of put the connectors on and electrical taped them. But this thing, this thing came with the fish finder and this holds a fuse for the fish finder. So, you know, it's not just, I don't know what fuses do, but yeah. <laughs> if this part of the video shows you anything, it's that uh, I shouldn't be an electrician, all right? <laughs> but yeah, you gotta connect this to these wires right here, which is the main wire that runs to the transducer in the back of the boat and then up to where the graph sits right there. So originally it was literally just bare wire. Like I didn't have these connectors on it. Could you, could you not? Can you, can you not see I'm filming a video right now? I know y'all are probably going to set up a damn house, but come on. <laughs> so I literally just wrapped the bare wire around like the terminal of the battery and just called it good. Like I said, it wasn't the safest thing, but it was jerry-rigged and rednecked, but uh, it worked. But yeah, now I'm pretty sure this is, this is gonna work a lot better. It at least has connectors and electrical tape on it to where it just protects the wires, so that's a plus. But yeah, basically all we gotta do is hook it up to the battery and test it, so yeah, let's do it. Why are you dying? <laughs> Stop eating dirt and that won't happen to her. <laughs> Maggie's out here somewhere too. Oh yeah, Maggie's over in the field. What are you doing, little lady? Yeah, look at the mirror slapping. But all right, now take these. Let's see. Red is plus, Maggie. Red's plus. So let's go negative first, then plus. Oh Jesus, a bird flew across and I thought something blew up. <laughs> you know what? While we're doing it, let's also connect the trolling motor because they're going to be running off the same battery anyways trolling motor wires let's just do them all at the same time just so we really got in a good idea that it's gonna work probably not osha approved but it will work now we're getting somewhere tighten her on down all right so we got the wire for the fish finder and the wire for the trolling motor all set up so first let's check the trolling motor turn her on watch your nose all right trolling motor works now for the main test so, Probably gonna need two hands for this. So press the on button. Bada boom. There we go. But yeah, it looks like a wiry mess right now, but I promise once you get everything in there and where it's supposed to be, it doesn't, it ain't that bad. But boom, we got power to the fish finder, power to the trolling motor. We actually got real connectors on the fish finder now and electrical tape to where it just protects the wires a little bit more. But boom, there we go. This is my, my first time ever really messing with some like electrical stuff. Like I said, I'm probably gonna stick to YouTube instead of an, being an electrician, but hey, it works for now. So today we got a little bit of a chore we need to get done. And that chore includes using a, a little new toy that I bought. And that is, this right here. I bought a hatchet. Why, JT? Why'd you buy a hatchet? Because I wanted one. <laughs> and also, because as y'all know, back here in the back of my yard, we kind of have this uh, 
There's this pile of random wood and sheds and stuff like that. Well, it's about that time of the year where, you know, you start going camping, you start having fires at night. So I figured, hey, might as well use some of this wood that's back there and turn it into like kindling almost. It's it's pretty much gonna be like fire starter. I went over there and I grabbed one of the old pallets that's just sitting over there. And yeah, basically I'm gonna use some manpower, take this little thing right here and uh, just get to chop it. That ain't the strongest stuff anyways. Like, come on now. I just broke that with my hand. I mean, hey, oh. See, that, that's that's what we need right there. Just some little teeny tiny pieces. Oh yeah, this is gonna be easy as hell. Stuff's so like old and dry. I could probably do this with my hands. <laughs> but hey, that's why I bought this, just to use it. Couldn't find my rubber mallet. That's probably what I should use on this uh, new metal, but hey, the hammer will work. Get her going like that. There we go. See stuff like this, this is gonna be a perfect little fire start. Super dry, super old wood. Can't do much else with it besides burn it. I'm gonna do as much as I possibly can until I get tired or I think that's enough. Uh, okay, uh, it doesn't seem like it takes that much effort, but bro, my back's killing right now. <laughs> but as you can see, we used not even half of it, okay? We probably used, I think we had one, two, three, four, maybe five-ish pieces and that's the pile we got that is plenty bro like i said all this old stuff i'm gonna use basically as kindling so like you maybe need five six pieces just enough to get a fire started and plus when you actually go to use it you get the old hatchet and you can break it down to even smaller pieces and like i said we got a whole last pallet there's like three more sitting back there we're gonna have plenty i mean plenty of I also i should have bought a saw i thought about it i was like huh i'm gonna be cutting up some wood so i bought like a circular saw or like a sawzar or something i didn't why i don't know it would have saved my back a little bit i don't know if y'all seen the video or not but i went out to the shooting range and i had this this is what i used to sight my gun in as you can see there's just a little black dot in the middle but i should have bought a saw because i need cut the stand into like a little point so that way it's easier to like stick into the ground that hatchet might do it should we try it yeah, let's go. Let's go ahead and try. We're probably gonna mess it up, but why not? Basically, I just need a point. Like, I just need it to. If we can just get at an angle. Oh damn! I just split it right down the middle. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. I mean, I'm just shooting a 22 at it, so it probably it probably worked. Yeah, I say I did it. <laughs> I mean, that's gonna be better. And it's still it's not super like flimsy, so. It probably won't break. Let's see. Let's get a ground test going. Oh yeah, that's a hundred times easier. A hundred times easier. What sucks though is I split the entire thing. So now it's like super loose. Do I just make a new one? I might just make a new one out of the wood I got. All right, let me find my drill. We're gonna take those screws out and we're just gonna make a whole new stand. All right. All right, so I went to rip this off camera, like just this entire piece. And this piece broke off when I grabbed it. That's damn near perfect. It's the point I want. It's pretty, pretty solid. Well, all right. What's Bob Ross say? Happy accidents? That's that's one right there. I mean, that is, that is literally perfect. I ain't got to do no hatcheting or nothing. All right, let's screw her back on. I always suck at setting screws. There we go. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, probably should have drilled pilot holes so I didn't split this wood, but oh well. One way to burn your finger, JT. Well, boom. Now, let's, let's see. <laughs> I just split the wood with the screw. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna have to get a new piece of wood. Burnt the hell out of my finger. This is just, this is just turned into a mess now. Okay, so did some digging. I found a little bit better of a piece of wood. Still pretty old, but a lot more solid than that stuff. We're gonna see if, uh, if we can get that on there. One, without splitting it. Two, without burning myself again. I, I'm glad I caught that on camera. It's one of them idiotic moments, moments where you're not thinking. Yeah, I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah, she's a, she's blistering up right now. But now, let's try to put this other piece of wood on there and really create the stand. <laughs> what is this, like take three or something? I don't even know at this point. I like this because it's going to be a lot taller, too. It's going to be a lot taller target. Very easily. Oh, yeah. This one's already going to work better. All right. Now. Okay, JT, you got this far. Don't screw it up now. So that way when we put paper on it, it doesn't just straight up poke it. 
and you doubted me. You doubted my skills, didn't you? <laughs> Alright, so now let's test her out. Oh god, yeah. That's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. See, I was trying to make this real short little one, messed it up, and got blessed with a taller one. Let's go. See, now I got a perfect square piece of plywood that I can put, you know, different uh paper targets on and stuff. Or if I just wanted to, like I have been just shooting at that black dot. And it's taller, so it's a lot easier to put in, put out, and it's at a little bit better of a height to shoot at. Yeah, that was a dub. That, I, that's a win. I like it. I really do. Well, now since I made that, I want to go down to the range and test it out. Alrighty, like I said, I'm gonna be using this to like put the paper targets on and stuff. So I'm not gonna shoot it up a bunch and mess up the wood. Cause I wanna at least put a few paper targets on it and use it that way. So for now I figured, hey, let's just start off with five. Put five rounds in it. Let's see if it stands up. See if the wood breaks. See, just see what happens. See if it's gonna be up to the test of at least just holding a paper for like, I don't know, 30 minutes and getting shot at. So yeah, that's like a key factor. So, all right, first things first, safety, ear probes, AKA the greatest ear cleaners in the world. Yeah, I give them a second to expand. You'll know once they're good. When I start, when I start talking, when I start yelling, yeah, that's why. That's how you know they're good. <laughs> All right, let's put five in there. Barrel's clear. Mag's empty. Guns on safe, safe position. Mag's out. Let's go check her out. Five shots, five hits, forty yards away. Let's just see how the target did first thing i noticed it's still standing so yeah oh yeah i wasn't really aiming but uh here's a few I, i've already shot this before but that 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 and i think maybe those two right there sorry right, five right in the center let's see if i oh yeah i hit the piece of wood that we just screwed on three times and uh she's still standing so i think she'll work just fine for what i need her for I'm sure some of y'all are wondering jt just go buy a metal stand listen them things are expensive and uh this was free. It might be redneck, but hey, it works, don't you? But all right, guys, I completely forgot to film an outro for that video, so here it is. I'm actually in the office getting rigged up for a video I'm going to film tomorrow. So y'all be on the lookout for that. If I can make what I'm going for happen, it's going to be a pretty epic video. But yeah, if y'all want to see me take the old SS Lizzie out and slay some bass on a private pond, click this video right here. If you want to see me shoot the gun for the first time, click right there. Or if you just want to subscribe to the channel, click right here. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I love you guys. JT and I'm out. Peace.